Okay, here we go with the uh, candy pinks. Second try. Uh, I did put the video up oh, yeah. of this MDF round where I did a dirty pour. I just decided to give it a few balloon kisses, but it's looking a bit messy. So I'm not real happy with that one. So I'll decide what to do with it after. Um, whether I scrape it or keep it, embellish it some way. So this one, I'm going back to my trusty um, swipe. So I'm going to um, use the same colours that I just used on that. Just a different, this will be um, a pour, a swipe. And I'm sure I will finish off with some balloon kissing because I just love the effect. But we'll give this one a go. Okay, we'll try again. What I might do is try with the deep crimson underneath because this is really lovely when it pops through the dark colour, popping through the lighter colours. So I'm just going to do separate areas. Like this. If you're watching and you're enjoying, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It costs you nothing um, and it keeps me encouraged to do videos for you because it wasn't a thing that I was going to do, but I just got so many private messages and requests um, to do this. So I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to try and get a bit more instruction on how to edit my videos and do a better job for you all. Um, so you have to bear with me because um, certainly haven't done this before videoing. So I will give it a go to do tutorials for free to anybody that is interested. So as you can see, I will put the card up with the pouring medium that I've created for this pour. As I said, all the paints were made up yesterday I love making them up at least the day before, even I've used paints up to a week after. As long as they were covered and I use a damp cloth, I found that works even better than um, co covering each one individually with a uh, cling wrap. I, I'm not sure why. So when I make up my paints, I add everything. I add the pre-made pouring me medium and I only add these cups, I've only put two, two drops of Helmar silicon in. I don't like too much silicon, then you haven't got to battle too much when it comes to if you, you want to coat them afterwards. Like this purple coming through, oh uh, yeah, purple coming through with the lilac, it creates really nice effect. So just gently going along doing your therapeutic thing as we do. Okay. I think that one. Okay, I might add a bit of this hot pink colour. So I said I'll put the photo of all the um, global, these are all global paints except for the turquoise and that is that only Montmartre because I just love the turquoise in Montmartre. And as I've said before, really nice if you add silver with it or, or pearl white. You just get then, well you can add pearl white or silver with most colours or metallic colours and um, make yourself cheap metallic paints. Okay, I think that. I might just add some of the... Um, diamond it's like um like an off-white but with sparkly stuff in it so those that love some sparkles leaving a few gaps because the tilting 
will cover because I've been just overloading my canvases, I think, with paint and tilting it all off. So it is a shame, that wasted paint, but it's better to add too much than not enough, I believe, because you can always tilt it off. Okay. That looks very much like ice cream. <laughs> A nice berry, berry, berry licious ice cream. Okay, would you just lift it up? It has those big push pins underneath it, which I could not, for the life of me, say the word yesterday when I was trying to explain to my husband that I need to get some more push, pu what did I call them? Puss pins? And he said, puss pins? What's puss pins? I said, you know, the Puss pins and I could, I just, the words just wouldn't come out of my mouth. But I remember my mom doing this. She, she never was able to, she always changed words to weird and wonderful things. And I'm thinking as I've got older, I'm doing the same. <laughs> uh, I know what I'm talking about. My husband's kind of get getting the, um, been able to read my language, so that's okay. We'll get along fine. Doesn't matter if you don't absolutely cover every part of it because it is going to be swiped, so it'll drag a lot of paint. Plus, you can pick up a lot of paint from the bottom. Along the bottom, just run your fingers along the bottom. You just touch the edges. Just finger pop in the edges that this paint will runneth over, I'm pretty sure. So just doing the edges, just run it underneath because that's where all the paint likes to sit, it's just underneath the lip of the canvas. So it's taking your time, enjoying what you're doing because that's what it's all about. It's about therapy as well as an art to sell, pass on or gift. I know that edge is completely not covered, which I might just add a bit more of my lilac, uh, turquoise to that. The turquoise and the purple come out very yummy. Just bear with me, please. I have to wash my hands. Uh, okay. I just put a bit more turquoise along that edge. Still got lots of paint left so I could do probably another two canvases with mixed these cups up. I'll just keep going until I've used my paint so I never make just the paint up for one pour. Just mix these size and keep going till they've gone creating different things. Okie dokie, there we go. I think that's enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a navy swipe over the pinks. I'm just thinking, should I try? No, no, we'll go with navy. I'll go with navy. Keep to the plan, Jill. Okay, just pouring the navy down, down the centre. You don't need too much of your swipe colour. I always get better results swiping from the centre than swiping from the top. Um, you either get left with a line, seem to swipe from the centre, but after you've swiped, it looks like you've got a bit of a line, but it always fades in and disappears and doesn't usually look like a real demarcation line. And especially if you're going to um, embellish it with a balloon or anything else. So the trusty file divider that I use because it's rewashable. I'm gonna just do that on the edge so the paint is thick on the edge but then it will all drop over to leave nice edges. So this canvas that I'm working on today is a 60 by 30 centimeter. So A nice size if you've got a skinnier wall and you want to put something down there or your your buyer does okay I'm gonna just okay 
together it didn't work did it but anything is fixable because you can use your fingers or a gadget okay around the other side to do that instead of trying to um, turn my painting around oh, let's do this I really want to take a lot of the paint over the edge so it covers my edges beautiful that will work okay this one just doing that on, on the edge because I need to cover the edges and it's nothing that won't work it'll all, all come out really lovely okay we're in our um, kind of an autumn time in Australia just um, supposed to be going into winter but uh, still lovely warm t-shirt weather shorts sunny blue skies we have a, a gorgeous winter in Queensland in Australia it's really temperate very rarely goes below the 20 so it gets colder at night maybe down to 10 but then that's nice because you can snuggle snuggle up in bed uh, okay I'm just finger popping the edges to make sure the paint has covered it all and while I'm fiddling with this it's just developing so you can see some cells come up sometimes they'll pop up straight away and then other times they just you know take their sweet time which is fine it's all good don't have to hurry so I always love this time because it's always going to be a surprise what's underneath that and how it will all show its face This weekend I am definitely having to go out and get myself a new gun. I have got the little cream brulee gun. I know a lot of people have asked me. I have this one, but this didn't last me very long at all. It just, again, just kept using up the gas, but, and then it's just carked it. It's no good. So I've had a couple of them all cark it because they're all well worn. So this is the only one, and this is not working real good at, at the moment. So what I do is I only buy these tops, the ignition tops. These, you get a pack of six for about $10 in a camp shop, and it lasts quite a long time. So, but I, this one's only coming out with a bit of gas, even though my tank is full of gas. So this one, again, I'm doing my jelly clusters. It's just what works well for me. It's, they always come out just beautiful. And this is basically just popping, popping it down on the canvas, the heat. Obviously don't hold it in one place for very long at all because you will have a fire. And the other important thing is, I mean, I've got my garage set up now as my art room. Um, always have a fire extinguisher very handy which my husband said advised me I was worried to burn the house down which you obviously have you know you've got a pretty fierce tool here if it fell out of your hand or caught onto something so you need to be really quick but don't be afraid of it I was absolutely scared stiff of even that little brulee um, heat gun but now it's it's all good look at that these are like tiny little ones because my flame is not so fierce but they're really pretty pretty cells I'm gonna just let that develop now um, they're much smaller clusters than I normally get but that is that's purely what I'm finding is with the particular pouring medium that I use and these this butane gas is um, the butane gas is the thing that brings up all the cells like this um, yeah 
so it's really nice. Okay, I'll, I will put a photograph of this too. This is my pouring medium and what I do, it just saves me writing it down every time because as you can imagine, um, we get asked over and over and over again the same things and you just get fed up of saying, you know, because people don't want to scroll back up or into files and, you know, it's just laziness. But anyway, we've all been guilty of it. So that's the pouring medium. And I, as I said, I, I um, pre-make the pouring medium up uh, in the four litre container and I add it to my paint. Um, just slowly add it to the paint till I feel it's the right consistency. Very hard to describe, just like pouring cream or runny honey. But, ooh, that's looking... I don't know, like lots of little brains everywhere. Brains, 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 brains. Okay, well, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave that to develop. If I decide to... balloon kiss it which I'm pretty sure I will just trying to think okay I'll try the balloon while you while I've got you here might just do a couple see if it's gonna fall in if it starts to fall in I will definitely leave it definitely is, it gives you better effect if you leave the paint for at least an hour till the canvas is absorbed okay balloon so give it a go just press the balloon in Ooh, that's nice I might just press that on my MDF board <laughs> okay I'll go along and do a few balloon dips because this is running back in what will happen is it'll get the it gets the effect of butterflies and and or um, dragonflies that you see on some of my work. I just pop that. Yeah, it's definitely collapsing a bit, but it is leaving a bit of shape. But I still want to leave a lot of the negative space with the clusters, the jelly clusters. Jade, if you're watching. My granddaughter, she's 15, that's what she christened them, my jilly clusters. Okay, I am not gonna do any more balloon kissing at this point because it is, the paint is collapsing in a bit, but it's not ruined it or anything. Can, you see there's a lot of paint there and I have to keep going over the very same area taking the paint off if you want to continue with the balloon kissing but <laughs> oh it's so difficult walk away from the canvas okay I'm walking away I'm walking away okay it's Friday night here in Australia and we go out for steak night tonight with some friends so I'm looking forward to that so I hope you all have a good weekend happy pouring I just try and do a close up for you. I'll put some close up. The colour's beautiful actually. I mean, because of this navy, I'll just stretch it out. See, it's so, it's actually nice with the negative space sometimes. Okay, have a perfect weekend everybody stay safe and uh, talk to you soon thanks for watching please subscribe it's free to my youtube channel